Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm gonna show you quickly how to make a easy homemade pasta dough recipe. Now I've found a bunch of recipes on the internet and this is the one that I have found uh, to be one of the most simplest and um, fairly straightforward to make. So this is a great pasta to make if you have a, a manual pasta machine and you're gonna start off, there is two cups of flour and you're gonna measure that out, put it into a well and inside you're gonna crack three large eggs. Now you do want these eggs to be at room temperature. Um, it'll help your pasta to be uh, mixed a, a bit easier when the eggs are, are not cold. Now you may have to adjust at the end. We'll get, we're gonna do the, the three large eggs, but sometimes eggs, obviously you have, if you have some smaller eggs, you're gonna have to adjust the liquid that is going into this recipe a little bit. Um, you can either add a touch more of the olive oil or a little bit extra water. Now I will leave the full recipe description, or sorry, the full recipe in the description below. Um, very straightforward. So we're just gonna we've add the eggs. Now we're gonna add the oil, which is um, two tablespoons of uh, olive oil. And I'm gonna hold off on adding the, uh, it does, the recipe does call for two tablespoons of water, but it is as needed. So I'm gonna hold off on the water just for now and uh, we just basically begin mixing this. It takes a little bit to get it together. Um, it's gonna look, you know, uh, as you can see, it uh, at the beginning, it takes a little bit to get, just get your fingers in there and get it all, get it all mixed in as best you can. And it will start to really come together. Now it's gonna be, you'll see here, it's, it's gonna stay a little bit dry until we get a bit more water in there. Um, but you wanna mix everything through as, as good as possible and then just continue continue mixing. Now this recipe makes enough pasta for, I would say a good four servings if you're making spaghetti or linguine with your machine. Um, a little bit more actually, if, depending how big you're, you know, you do want your servings to have. So this is a nice recipe to start. It could definitely serve um, a family of four if you're making uh, pasta for this. So you can adjust, uh, adjust accordingly. Now if it, is going to stay this one that i'm making is a little bit dry so in just a little bit here i am going to make uh, and add a little bit of water um, we ended up putting the, the full two tablespoons into there uh, to uh, to get the dough to come together uh, if you do make a mistake and add a touch more water than and the dough gets too sticky you can just uh, dust on a little bit more of uh, the flour and you'll be fine it will come back come back together you basically want a dough that is, I mean, it's going to be moist, but not super sticky dough. Um, it's gonna have a little bit of elasticity to it, but still be, you know, it's kind of, a, it takes a couple times when you when you do finally get it uh, rolled out right, you'll, you'll, you'll know from the feel of it. You can still see here, it's, it is too dry, but it will start to come together. So don't put, don't put any water in until everything kind of comes together, and then you can tell if it's dry. So we'll just continue on mixing this. And altogether it does take, you know, it's gonna take roughly about about five or 10 minutes to get everything kind of into, into a kneaded ball. And then you're gonna to wanna to knead the dough. Once everything is, is combined, we're gonna to wanna to knead it for about 10 minutes. So we'll come back as soon as everything is uh, kneaded together. All right, there we go. You can see it's really come together here now. This is almost basically the, the texture that you're gonna to wanna to have. It's, it's a firm, firm dough to knead, so we're gonna continue on to knead this. And uh, this is a great uh, pasta um, 
it only takes about like with fresh pasta it does only take about four to five minutes uh, in boiling water so once you're this is the long part you know getting everything kneaded together so after this is finished what we'll do is I'm just gonna work it into uh, finish kneading it until everything comes together and then what you want to do is um, put it into wrap it into cellophane and put it into the into the fridge for you know you want to let it rest for basically 20 minutes before rolling it out into your with your with your pasta machine so we're not going to do that in this video but what i have set up for later later is a live stream so if this is your first time watching this video i will link the live stream video to watch uh, of the rolling of the pasta and then you can always check that out when it is recorded afterwards if you're watching this before the live stream um, super easy pasta to make we're going to use um, the Lagostina pasta roller to roll this pasta and you'll get to see the next step on this so once uh, everything here we're almost kneaded through here we'll wrap everything up let it sit in the fridge uh, you do want to let it sit for at least 20 minutes before you roll this out in the machine just to give the dough a little bit of chance to rest um, this isn't the type of dough that would is going to rise or anything like that but you do still want to let have it rest so when you roll it out uh, rolling it out is going to be is going to be easier and it's going to give you a more consistent product because it's not going to stretch back as much so we'll finish off this kneading get it wrapped up and put it in the fridge and then you'll be able to check out the next videos again if this is your first time here please you know consider subscribing i do live streams throughout the week monday wednesday friday at five o'clock mountain time uh, so be sure to subscribe to the channel also hit the notification bell that way you will get notified when i am going live and doing cooking and demonstrations so there we go thanks so much for watching everybody i'm going to finish this all up and we'll catch you in the next video